training large language models is quite frustrating and it's quite hard. Not only does it take a lot of time, but it also requires you to have the right computational power and requires a lot of resources. You need to collect the data sets, refine it further, format it to the right requirements, select the right model, write the training code for it, and then you train it all together with what we had stated. And that is if everything goes down smoothly. This is where I would like to introduce Monster API. You can now fine tune open source large language models without writing a single line of code. This is quite big and it's super easy. Fine tuning large language models is now 10 times more accessible to everyone. If you aren't familiar with the term fine tuning, it's the process where we teach a large language model as to how you can solve specific tasks. Large language models have general knowledge, but they struggle to basically solve a particular area of what you want it to actually generate. But as we know, fine tuning a model is quite complex, expensive, and it takes a lot of time, effort, as well as GPU computation. Now finding the optimal hyperparameters and dealing with the upfitting or as well as overfitting models is quite frustrating. So it's also quite difficult to actually experience people who know how to do it. And this is where Monster API comes in handy. It's built to become the first platform that offers a no code fine tuning of open source models. There's a couple models in which you can play around with. You have Llama, Llama 2, you have Falcon, Open Llama, OPT, you have GPTJ, as well as many of the other open source models. You can also fine tune Mistral's, which is the new open source model that it has the 7 billion parameter size. You have QLora, you have Flash Attention, as well as many others. Now, when fine tuning these models, you don't need to deal with code, you don't need to worry about the hardware. And on top of that, their pricing is quite competitive, which allows you to access their decentralized GPU platform. It's quite affordable, and I'll leave a discount link in the description below in which you can access. This is not a sponsored video. I just stumbled across it, and I thought it would be easy for you guys to utilize and save some money while utilizing this actual Monster API fine-tuning method. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you how to actually fine tune and train your open source large language model. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we mentioned at the start, we're going to take a look at how we can utilize Monster API to fine tune any open source model that you want. Not only just fine tune, but we're also going to take a look at training. This is probably one of the most affordable, most easiest and convenient ways you can fine tune as we utilize Monster API to do this. Now, before we actually get into this, I want to showcase this video I made a couple months ago. This is how to fine tune and train LMs with your own data. This is by utilizing GPT LM Trainer. This is hosting it off of Google Colab. This is quite an easy way to do this, which allows you to get a little bit more customizable features. Uh, in this case, you're able to fine tune any model, not just open source models, whereas Monster API only allows you to fine tune open source models. So this is one of the most restrictive features of this application. So if you want to fine tune other models that are closed source, I highly recommend you watch this video, which I'll leave in the link in the description below. So with that thought guys, let's get to the next step of the video and showcase how you can fine tune large language models. If you would like to join our private discord in which you can get exclusive subscriptions to AI tools for free, get giveaways, you get networking opportunities, consultation, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below to our Patreon page. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can see all the value that we have posted over here. And that will definitely benefit you guys in different areas. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. So to get started, you'll first need to create an account with Monster API. You can do this with GitHub, Gmail, or your email. In my opinion, the easiest way is utilizing your email. So once you have done this, we can get to the next step of the video where we're going to be at the dashboard. Now, in this case, you can see there's a couple other models in which you can utilize with Monster API. We're not going to be using any of these models as we're just going to be fine tuning and training. 
Uh, if you're interested in this, you can definitely take a look at this on your own time. It's quite unique and it gives you a lot of flexibility in doing as well as utilizing many different models that are associated with Monster BI. You simply want to just click on the fine tuning process and we'll get to the next step of the video where we will follow the documentation in launching a, a fine tuning job for an open source model. Now let's just mention the pricing structure before we move forward. Their pricing structure is quite simple. You pay $1 per 1000 credits. One thing I did not like about the pricing structure is this. This is something that they should really work upon. If there's any sort of viewer, a part of the Monster API team, you guys should definitely rework this structure because it is very poor in my opinion. Uh, if you buy credits, it doesn't roll over to the next period. The unused credits, it just starts off blank for the next month which is really, really dumb in my opinion. And this should be something that they should really work upon. Now, there's just a couple of FAQs questions that you can definitely take a look at. So if you're interested in this, I highly recommend that you read through this in their documentation before you actually move forward with fine tuning your actual model. But basically there's four steps in fine tuning and training your large language model. You first need to start off by launching a fine tuning job. In this case, you start off with the first step you can name it whatever you want and you can select whatever model open source model that you want so in this case you can select the most largest open source code llama model or the llama 2 model which is 70 billion to the smallest one so in this case i'm gonna just click click on the smallest one click on the next step you're able to select different types of tasks if it's instruction fine tuning you have text classification summary generator mask modeling question answering as well as other in which you can specify later on so i'm going to just click on instruction fine tuning you are able to choose the data set that you want they already have uploaded many others but if you click on the other you're able to upload your data set your, that you can prepare off of hugging face or you can upload off your own like basic files which is really really cool in this case i'm just going to utilize and go forward with the alpaca or yeah alpaca gpt4 data set you can select different types of subsets in this case you have validation split ratio now if you go down a little bit you can configure the prompts now guys if you are to watch my lm trainer video you can see that you also need to like basically go to the data set and configure it in a way that the inputs and outputs associate with whatever model that you want to fine tune so this requires you to actually take a lot of time to go on hugging face make sure that you set up the prompts properly for the inputs and outputs so that you can fine tune it appropriately now in this case uh, with monster api it saves you so much time because it does this for you it prepares the data set with the prompt configuration for you and that's one of the great things about this now moving forward we have the next step which is tracking the stages of this fine tuning process you're able to see you're able to set different metrics now this is quite thorough and it requires you to input a lot of different things so if i if you're interested in going further in this you can go to the job status and tracking which gives you a good documentation as to what is happening in this step now you can upload the fine-tuned weights to hugging face which is optional so you can skip this method you can track the fine-tuning jobs with one b but in this case you can set it to the default metrics and you can move forward now there's different meanings for this so if you want to understand this i definitely recommend you read the actual documentation so you know which what you want to input and customize for your own preference and the next step you need to finally review everything and move forward to the pricing plan this is going to estimate cost of a cost of 40 to 55 credits a minute so you want to keep this in mind when you're utilizing this now once you create this job it's going to take a couple minutes and create this job and then which after you have done this you can start fine tuning the actual model that you want to fine tune one thing to note is that you are given 2500 credits with the free plan which is a great way for you to start testing how to fine tune and train your model Another thing is that if you go on the data set tab, you're able to upload and manage different data sets for your fine tuning process. You can customize different data sets and upload it over here so that you can fine tune it to your own data. Now, if you go to the billing, you can then select different like starter packs, 
the beast pack as well as the monster pack which will give you different types of custom pricing plans if you go to the api documentation this will take you to what you can do understand the documentation of the fine tuning process as well as understand the apis uh like how to use their apis to export into different areas there's a setting tab in which you can play around with your personal information and that's basically put for the fine tuning process now in this case we're gonna wait for it to launch once it has launched it's gonna keep on fine tuning this and then you'll be able to export it using their api now as we know guys fine tuning does take quite a long time and the great part about monster api is that they will send you an email once it has completed we can see that it gives you an email that breaks down what you are doing with the fine tuning process by giving you the job id the model as well as the data set and they basically give a breakdown as to if your fine tuning process is successful it'll show that the model has three different states it has an in progress state which shows that the model is in progress of its fine tuning process you have the completed stage which is basically obvious where the fine tuning, tuning process has been completed as well as the fail stage where the job may fail due to multiple reasons which are related to the data set as well as the hyper parameters or the model itself now these are basically the three metrics which state how the fine tuning job is operating and once you basically complete the fine tuning process you'll get an email over here on your gmail or wherever you connected your account email to monster api and that's basically a gist as to how the fine tuning process works once it has been completed you're able to export it wherever you want wherever you want to connect this api elsewhere and it gives you a good gist as to how you can do this with monster api and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video this is possibly one of the most easiest ways for you to actually fine tune a model uh any open source model and it's a great way for you to access this affordable application in which you can fine tune in the easiest possible way that is available for you but that concludes today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check check out the patreon page if you guys haven't already if you want to access our exclusive features as well as our private discord definitely give world of ai a follow if you guys haven't already and lastly make sure you guys check out the fine tuning video that i made with gpt trainer as well as subscribing to world of ai on the youtube page and with that thought guys make sure you like this video turn on the notification bell check out our previous videos and have an amazing day spread positivity and we'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas